Fazio was saying that the big plays were what killed you on defense. Just, just what happened on some of those plays? Why were they able to get the big plays? I mean, you know, we came in with a, with a great game plan, and that's keep playing aggressive. Uh, we need to just try to get after the quarterback. Uh, you know, if you do that a lot, keep playing aggressive, uh, there might be a couple holes in the back end. And whenever that, there was a hole in the end, FSU made sure that they executed on that. And then that's what they did. And they hit a couple big plays, which, you know, is really unfortunate. Was uh, Winston as advertised from what you saw on the, on tape and what you saw on the field? Yeah, I mean he's a he's an athletic kid. You know, he, he makes he makes good decisions. He's fast, but um, you know that, that that couldn't change our game plan. I mean, we still try to pressure him a lot. I think that we did that, but he, he he got away a couple times. You know, broke a couple tackles and then hit the big plays. And you got to make sure as a defense that can't happen. How demoralizing was it for, for them to, to hit that last play before the half, take that, take control of the game at that point? I mean, obviously, it, it is, it is, it is upsetting. But you know, we we in a football game and we playing a fast, athletic team that hits big plays. That happens. All you got to do is come back to the sideline, or come back in the locker room make the proper corrections and then come back and keep playing. If, if, you, if you get influenced by that, then you shouldn't be playing football because you got to forget and you got to keep playing and keep staying motivated. Yeah. What's up with it to lose, maybe? Excuse me? To lose, maybe. It, 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 it always sucks to lose. You know, it doesn't matter who you play. And, um, but, but there's, I think, there's, there's, there's a lot we've learned. And, and a loss, if you don't learn from a loss, you know, then this loss is just, just there. But I think we learned a lot today. We learned that we fight, can fight through adversity, and that's what's going to be really important for this football team in the next couple of weeks. You know, we, we would, they hit that play before halftime, and we came out and we kept fighting, and that was our mantra the whole week: keep punching, keep, keep fighting, don't stop. And I think that we did that today. What about the other one? Um, I don't even know. You know, I, I just, I was on the field. I saw him on the ground. I told him, I got you back. You know, I'll keep fighting. That's my brother. I don't know, I don't know what's going on with him. I got I to talk to him as well. Is that what he said? So what did he say to you guys as he was, you know? No, it was, it might, that might be one of the worst things to see one of your teammates has, has to leave the field because he's hurt. And, you know, I, then he just looked at us and said, let's go do this. And, um, you know, that, I think that, that was another boost because that just got, got my foot. My heart, you know, fired up. I, I had to play for him. Everybody had to play for him. We had to play for each other because, you know, BC defense is what we're about. Anything else?